hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we will start properly on our google map nearby places app which is called finder in which a user will be able to search nearby hospitals hotels and restaurants and also he can search for colleges universities and school in his nearby places i hope you guys watched the first video in which i show you guys the project overview so let's start work on our this project so i will come here and start a new android project and let's name this project a find nearby places and you can choose any api level from here i will simply choose uh, api 19 okay you can choose 19 or above this api 19 so click next now and now we will choose an activity which is the google maps activity so click on this google google maps activity click next and let's call this activity as uh, google google maps activity so now click finish and now our new project is going to be launched soon so wait for it it will took five or six seconds so new project is launched now so you can see that here it is the google maps api.xml file which you can see here uh, if you spend this values for the first time it will open automatically but if you want later then you can simply click on this values and inside this values we will have this google maps api.xml file so now what we can do we can first connect the google map api to our this android app so for doing that here you can see that we have this https console.developers.google you can simply copy this link control c okay copy this link and now go to your browser in your browser here you can simply paste that url here which we copy from here okay you can see that so pass that url here and now press enter so you can see that google api console so here basically we will uh, connect the google maps api in our android project which we are developing so you can see that okay and first uh, as you know that uh, for doing that make sure that you are logged in to your gmail account so make sure that you are logged into your gmail account as you can see that it is my i am now signed into my gmail account so you can simply click on this yes and also yes and now then click on this agree and continue and wait for it so you can see that enabling api and now it is the api is enabled and it says create api key so click on this create api key and now it will generate a key for our this android project so wait for that so here we go api key created so this is our key for this uh, project and now you can simply click on this close and from here you can copy this key which is this one okay so copy this key from here uh, in your case it will uh, here it will be different okay so now you can close the browser and now come here and paste that key here here you can see that string name google maps key and here you can see that it is written that is your key here so you can select this remove this and paste your unique key here you can see that so this is uh, our key for using the uh, google uh, api for our this android project so paste that uh, key here and now what we're gonna do you can simply close this and now go to the manifest and android manifest.xml file now the next thing uh, which we will be doing is we need to add uh, some permissions to use i mean for our this app okay we need that permissions to add so first of all uh, remove this uh, uses permission from here okay remove this and also remove these comments from here and now here we can say 
So these are the five permissions which we will be needing in our app and these permissions will be available in the description so you can simply copy these five permissions and paste that here inside your android manifest.xml file. Let me tell you that these will be available in the description down below. You can copy this and copy this from the description and paste that five permissions here. And the first one is the access find location. The second one is the access course location, internet, access network stack and the last one is the read g services which is this one okay so make sure to uh, do the same okay? and now close this this is our google maps activity.java file and if you come here into into the layout then this is our activity google, google maps.xml file you can see that and now come here to the google maps activity.java file and here you can simply remove these comments from here so this is our uh, on map ready and this is our on create method so by default this is the latitude and longitude and this is i mean the default uh, location and the marker which is uh, to which is marked to the sydney city in australia you can see that okay so yeah let's run the app to see if the map is working or not in our this android project so our app is running now and you can see that we have successfully connected the Google Map API to our Android project. And now if I click on this marker, then you can see that, that by default, it is marked to Sydney, which is a city in Australia. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel, like this video and let us know about your suggestions and questions in the comment section down below.